Hello, beautiful people of the internet. How are you doing today? My name is Jackie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I am going to be doing the Hindsight is 2020 reader tag. This tag was created by Erin Go Read, and I was tagged by my lovely friend Tori from Hufflepuff Discovery what feels like a really long time ago, but I haven't been able to film this video until now because I had other things going on, but I am finally getting to it today. I haven't been watching a lot of booktube videos lately, so my apologies to my booktube friends whose videos I usually comment on. I just am so behind on my videos right now. Also apologies to the people watching this video because it's another dreary day outside. The Florida weather is so unpredictable and I feel like the lighting is once again not great. But <laughs> I guess that's enough for the disclaimers. Let's get into the tag. The first question in this tag is what were you like as an early and learning reader? Well, it's really hard to remember because I've read a lot pretty much as long as I can remember. So I know I used to read like, I don't remember what they were called, those little books that you could just buy at like the dollar store or the grocery store and they had different numbers to, based on what level of reader you were. So the person who was the least experienced would get the books with one and then you would move up to two, three. I definitely remember I used to read those. I don't want to say this like to brag, but I was always pretty advanced at reading for my age. That's just one thing that I've been good at. I've always been interested in reading and writing. So it's really hard to remember what I was like as an early reader because I just always remember reading a lot. I know in elementary school I used to have to fill out reading journals and then get a parent or a teacher to sign it to confirm how many books that I read and then you would get stickers or something when you completed a certain number of books. <laughs> Next question is what book or book series really got you excited about reading as a kid? Well I have a few. I know I used to read the Nancy Drew books. I read quite a few of those. I don't remember all of the ones that I read but some of them are still at my dad's house. I read those a lot. I also used to read the Great Illustrated Classics books, which is basically a series where they take classic novels, illustrate them, and create abridged versions for children to read in language that they can understand. So my absolute favorite was Little Women, and I only just read the full version of Little Women now this semester, but when I was a kid, I loved it so much that I read the book so much, the spine fell apart, and my grandmother had to buy me a second one. I also read the Great Illustrated Pride and Prejudice, which is now, as an adult, my absolute favorite book. Jane Eyre, Anne of Green Gables, which I've never read the full version, and a bunch of other Great Illustrated classics. I was mainly interested in the ones by female authors because then and now, I really can't connect with a book that has no women in it. <laughs> I'm just not interested, okay? There needs to be at least one main female character if you want to get me to care. Next question, has there been a person in your life, real or fictional, who inspired you to be a reader? Well, I probably have my parents to thank for reading so many books as a kid. I also had these two storybooks of Disney stories that my dad and I used to read a lot before I went to bed. Um, my grandmother used to buy me all these Great Illustrated Classics books. I think she took me to a store in like Pennsylvania Dutch country to buy these Great Illustrated Classics. This unlocked this memory that I didn't know I have, but I think it was like in Lancaster, Amish country. Wow, I haven't thought about that in a really long time. <laughs> my dad and I both always loved Belle from Beauty and the Beast because she loved books so much. Now, I don't know if that was, I loved Belle because I loved reading or I loved reading because I loved Belle. It's kind of like a which came first, the chicken or the egg scenario. And also I think we should throw Joe March in there because when I read The Great Illustrated Classics, Little Women, I connected to her character so much because she wanted to be a writer 
that was what I wanted and I connected to her love of reading and I wanted to be like her when I grew up. Her and Elizabeth Bennet and let me tell you <laughs> I did not grow up to be as cool as either of them. <laughs> The next question is, at what point did you begin to identify as a reader? And honestly, I don't have a good answer to this because I just remember always reading. I don't remember a time where that wasn't one of my major hobbies. It's something that I've always been interested in ever since I can remember. I was having my grandmother transcribe stories that I wanted to write when I was two or three years old before I learned how to write. So reading and writing has always been my thing as long as I can remember. I suppose I only became conscious of the fact that I read a lot more than the average person in maybe middle school. I think before then I didn't realize that my level of reading, not everybody read as much as I did. I guess I kind of assumed that everybody loved books and to this day it is still kind of shocking and upsetting to me when somebody says they never read because books are so wonderful and there are so many different types and genres out there that I firmly believe every person can find a book out there that's right for them and so it makes me sad when I find out there are some people who aren't readers. Final question is, how has being a reader shaped your life and your worldview? Well, first of all, it's really shaped my life because it's the reason that I'm here talking to all of you. And being on booktube has been so much fun for me. I've enjoyed creating content here immensely and I've discovered some really cool people on here whose content I also love. And I think reading has really helped strengthen my empathy for others because when you read literature and different genres, you are able to sympathize with characters who may be similar to you or may be entirely different from you and may have experiences that you will never experience. But being able to experience their lives so intimately, I think, really helps shape and strengthen your empathy. And I think, I think that I can connect with so many people and sympathize with so many people because I started reading at such a young age and it really changed my view of the world and taught me that, that there are so many different people who have so many different life experiences. Also, you know, I've struggled with shyness and social anxiety and when I was going through difficult or lonely periods of my life, reading was a form of escapism for me and I was always able to open up a book and connect with the characters and find characters that genuinely became like friends to me. I know to some people that sounds weird, but when I was struggling, books were there for me and they really helped me through those difficult periods in my life. So for that, I am eternally grateful and I feel like I'm a better person now because reading was a part of my life since I was very young. So that is it for the Hindsight is 2020 reader tag and now I have to tag some people. So I am going to tag two channels that I subscribed to not that long ago and I love their videos. That's going to be A Star Reads and Naomi's Bookshelf. I love their videos so check these channels out if you haven't already. I probably should have checked um, all their videos before I filmed this to make sure neither of them did this tag before. Um, so if you guys are watching this and you already did this tag or you just don't want to, feel free to disregard. But if you haven't done this tag yet and you were interested, I would love to hear more about your reading histories and definitely subscribe to these channels if you haven't already. 
So that is it for me today, everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video, and let me know about your reading history in the comments section down below. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more from me. I post new videos every single Wednesday. My social media links are down below if you want to follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, or be my friend on Goodreads. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a sensational rest of your day. Bye, and I'll see you in the next video.